Hey everyone, it's Megan with Alder and Nance, and we are back again today for the new fall fashions from Simplicity for 2022. And let's go ahead and grab yourself a cup of coffee while I roll my intro. As you all know, we always start off with the lookbooks, and here on the front page of Simplicities, we have Halloween is coming, and we also have a Mimi G pattern for S9636 and 9637 for some pullovers, and let's see, can I, yay, I can do it that way. We also have S9643 for this beautiful dress that looks like it. Mimi G possibly did this. I don't know if this is a Mimi G pattern or not, but it is a plus size pattern and they are going up to a size 38W. And I actually really like this dress. I like the puffier sleeves. I like the empire waistline, especially the pointed empire waistline. And we also have S9644 in a size 10. Oh, I like this. They are giving examples of all of the patterns along with the size that the model is actually wearing it in. So for 96.44, we have this dress at a size 10. Then 96.36, Mimi G is wearing a size 14. For 94.74, we have a 26W. We also have a 28W for 96.44 also. So we see this in a straight size, also in a plus size. This one's also in a plus size for 96.37. And 96.43 is right here also. That is really cool. I love how they are letting us know what the sizes are for each of the models on this page. So here we are again with this pullover from Mimi G. And I love the hip gores on this one, but it doesn't look like it's going to have hip gores on this one. So it looks like we're going to have two different sizes on this one. And we also have a QR code down here that you can scan to go to the sew along for this pullover. And here is 9643 in both a size 10 and a 38W. And looks like we have a couple of options for lengths on both of these. And then here we are with 9644. I love this little peekaboo piece right here along with the higher neck. I really like that. And I think actually Skylar might like that also. We have 9638 for this outfit option. I like the jacket and also the skirt for this one. I love that it's double breasted. 9648 for the skirt and possibly even the top. Then we have 9647 for the pants. 9641 is this oversized t-shirt, not t-shirt, but shirt dress and then 96.40 for this dress. We have a pullover poncho for 96.49 and I like how it does still have some buttons right here so you can bring it up a little bit closer and it looks like we're going to have some buttons right here also. 96.39 is a long sleeve self tie front bodice with ruffles. That is really cute. That is something that I would wear. And we have this button down top for 96.46. And oh, we are bringing back the drop shoulders. I've noticed a lot of drop shoulders here lately. Oh, that is so cute. It's a pumpkin owl, 96.22. That is something that I'm going to have to have. 96.23 is this basket. We also have 96.53, which is a mommy and me style prairie dress and for 96.22 it looks like we're going to have an owl and I don't know what this is going to be but we also have this little guy up here that looks like a little reindeer 
9623 looks like some treat bags or buckets for going trick-or-treating. And then also with these little pumpkin guys, we have 9622 in a fox. And then we have this little kid's outfit for 9652. <gasps> oh, I have been looking for these patterns. Scholar wants this one. I don't know how well she will want to wear a crop top like that, but she really likes this. I might be able to bring the top down just a little bit to make her a little bit more comfortable. But Queen's Center Stage, they are bringing six costumes for all of us to be able to make for S9627 and S9628. So the bottoms and the tops are in two separate packets. Then we have some more Halloween costumes. 9630 is this vampire long-waisted or long coat. 9629 is this vampire dress. We also have a Bride of Frankenstein pattern for S9629. And a Medusa pattern for S9629. Then we have a couple of other character style patterns. We have a witch costume for 9632. Uh, looks familiar. I don't know where this one would be for 9630. And then we have 9626. Both adults and kids for a cape pattern. And then we also have this one. So we have some long coats style patterns. We have some little kid patterns. We have a bunny Dinosaur, puppy, and kitty for 9624. 9625, we have this cute little tool, pumpkin, witch, and I'm going to guess princess for this one. Then we have 9641 again here for this shirt dress. And then we always have the accessories page for where we can find some of the accessories that we have seen on the models. And we have that cute little princess, candy princess dress for 9625. So let's go ahead and jump back over into the simplicity patterns. So we have S9639 for the midi rep dress. Oh, that is cute. I like the elasticated waist. I like the flutter sleeve. And we have some ruching up here, gathering ruching in here couple different links and options for it. So we have the gathers or we could just have it without the gather and ripples. And this one comes in sizes 6 through 14 and 16 through 24. And let's go ahead and take a look at the different sizes. We have a small that goes from a, oh, a high bust and bust information is on here. So a bust of 29 and a half up to a 48. And then we also have 1X through 6X or 16W through 38W with a bust of 38 through 60. Men's sizing is a size 32 through 56 with a chest of 32 through 56. Unisex, unisex patterns in sizes extra small through 3XL for a chest size 28, 29 through 54, 56. We have the kids size charts, which is done by weight. And this is for the infants up to seven pounds to 24 pounds. We have the toddlers where a half size toddler is 19 inches up to a size four with a 23 inch. Children's, we have two through eight with a chest size of 21 through 27. And the boys and girls, sizes seven through 16 and a half with the sizes of 26 at the chest up to a 36 in the chest. And we are not looking at the new look size charts at this time or the Berta style patterns. So that is S96. 39 and our size chart information in case you want to go back and look at that and just a quick th flip through of these dresses again. 
So we have body measurements and the finished garment measurements if you want to go and actually kind of take a look at these. Okay, we have S9641 for the button down dress. We have this cute little fall style on this one. And it looks like we're going to have a couple of different princess seams. I like that. I like how it has the shoulder and also into the sleeve princess seams on this one. A couple of different options for sleeves also. We have a longer sleeve, straight style, more of a puppy sleeve on this one, and then without added sleeves. So that's really interesting. I like that. And this one comes in sizes 4 through 12 and 14 through 22. Then we have S9642 with this empire waistline and puppy sleeve with some gathers down here for the flounce. And looks like we're going to have a couple. Oh, I love the sleeve. I love the sleeve so much. So we have a puppy sleeve and then I guess I wouldn't call this a tulip sleeve. I don't know what to call that. I'm going to have to look that up. 4 through 12 and 12 through 20. And then we have the plus size version of this. And this is size 20 through 28 and 30 through 38. And exactly the same, just the plus size version. Then we have 9644. And this comes in sizes 10 through 18 and 20 through 28. So we have this little peekaboo action. Okay, we do have a couple different style lines for this pattern. We have this one that has the actual where it's separated and this one where it's not. Or we could do it without the little peekaboo action. So this looks like it's the one that does not have the separate pieces. And she is wearing the one that does have the separate pieces. We have a dolman sleeve dress with a couple of different sleeve options. We have one with a puppier sleeve and then one with a straight sleeve and two different lengths. For the Mrs. Poncho for S9649, size is small through X, 2XL. And it comes in a couple different lengths, so three different lengths for this one. That's really neat. I like that. So she is wearing view A, so the longer version. The Mimi G jacket and skirt for 9638 comes in sizes 6 through 14 and 16 through 24. A and C. So it looks like we've got a couple options for the jacket. So we have 96.48 for the Mrs. Skirt, and this comes in sizes 8 through 16 and 16 through 24. And we have this style skirt, one with a center seam, and two different lengths where the edge has a raw edge on one side. So that's really neat. I like that. And in case I didn't show you the sizes. Our pants pattern for S9647, and it's both pants and shorts. So we've got the couple different views of the pants. Okay. 
Okay, so we have with cup in a shorter version with cup, we have a long wide leg and then we have a shorts. I wasn't real sure what the difference was between all of these other than with and without cuff. We have one of their vintage patterns for S9640, uh, 9634, and it comes in sizes 6 through 14 and 16 through 24. Couple different top options. Oh, I like that. Vintage blouse and cummerbund. I don't know what a cummerbund is. Oh, okay. So this little waist piece right here is the cummerbund. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. Then we have the button down top with the different sleeve options on this one. I don't know the difference between those two. Okay, this is one without the little extra piece, extra sleeve. Okay, this one's got some darting in the back but I don't see the difference between these two. I might be missing something, but I'm not 100% sure. View A and B have balloon sleeves with elastic on the cuff. View A has a rolled collar and optional waist starts for top. View B and C have point collars. Okay, so I do see that. Okay, so there is some waist darting on the front of that one. That's what I was missing. Okay. Then we have just this regular knit top for $96.45. Couple different options. Oh, that's cute. I really love that color too. And this comes in sizes extra small through 2XL. Then we have this pullover hoodie for sizes 4 through 12 and 12 through 20. And it's an oversized stretch knit hoodie. And it's not letting me click on it. Huh. I don't know why it's not letting me click on it. So you have the option with and without this little hip cut out. Might be able to click on it for the other size. Maybe the plus size will let me. Yes. Awesome. So we do have this little hip gore and then we have the kangaroo pocket on the front. I do like the oversized pattern and it comes in 20 through 28 and 30 through 38. We have some active wear for sports bra leggings and bike shorts by Madeline Intimates in sizes extra small through XL and 1XL through 5XL. So I love these little sports shorts and also the leggings. Couple options there. We have the crochet and sew top jacket and bag. So you need to have some knowledge of crochet in order to make this pattern. And this comes in sizes extra small through extra large. You gotta make some granny squares in order to make this pattern. And then you also have the bag. So you don't have to have crochet knowledge in order to make this because they do have it with just a regular cardigan. 
Uh, no, I lied. It has the greatest squares down the back. So we have the cardigan top and the bag for this one. So for my crocheters out there, we do have a pattern for you. Okay, we have the petty skirt in sizes extra large and extra small, hair accessory and a purse. I love the little scarf up here. I like the bow and the bag's cute too. That bag is really cute. I like that one. So the petty skirt is kind of cute. I like the hair accessories and the bags are really cute also. And like up here says, a small through XL. The Mommy and Me pattern, which is size three through eight and extra small through extra large. So it is definitely the prairie style dresses. It's very cute. I like it. I don't think Ryan would like wearing something like that. And I'd have to grade it out for all three girls in our house to be able to wear that. We have another Simplicity Vintage Pattern reprint for S9635. We have some pajamas with this one and a jumpsuit. Definitely lots of little pajamas. So that's not a jumpsuit, it's just tucked into the pants. So you have a couple of options. Let's go on to page two and definitely have a lot of patterns with this go round. Tote bag in three sizes. Oh, that's cute. So just some tote bags for 9618. The Star Wars backpacks. So we have a Boba Fett, a Grogu, and a Mandalorian backpacks, along with a Grogu and the Mandalorian style pouch, key fobs, and what was E? I don't know what to call E. Lined backpack, small room compartment, large size pockets, double zip closure. Appliques and additional pockets create favorite character from Star Wars The Mandalorian. Accessories include 4 inch by 7 inch front zippered pencil pouch, key ring, hand sanitizer, and lip balm holder. So just a couple of backpacks from Disney for The Mandalorian. We have a men's knit top vest and hat. So we've got the more utilitarian style vest, couple shirt options, vest, and the hat. So I already have a bucket hat pattern. This comes in size 34 through 42 and 44 through 52. Good size range on that. We have some scrub for doctors and nurses and things along those lines. It looks very comfortable for the pants. I wonder, I didn't see any of their accessibility patterns this time. A children's and girls jacket, pants, and skirt. So, roomy oversized jacket with that drop shoulder again. Cute pants, and really, we have to have baby shark fabric. I like the skirt, so that's cute. And that comes in sizes 4 through 6 and 7 through 14. Toddler's top and pants. So a couple options for the pants and top. 
We have with and without the hoodie and a couple of sleeve links. Then we have a animal costumes for 9624. We have a puppy dog, bunny, cat, and dinosaur. That's cute, sizes half through four. Then we have the tool costumes for the ghost, pumpkin, witch, and candy princess. We have 9621 for some plush dolls and their clothes. Both of my girls don't really play with dolls anymore. So not really a pattern that I would think about picking up. We have the baskets for 9623. So just a couple different baskets. One's a Halloween style and another one's fall. This one kind of looks more like Christmassy. So we've got Either Halloween buckets or maybe a craft bucket for whenever you're working on crochet and things like that. This is so cute. The plush pumpkin animals. We have fox, bear, deer, and owl. So the one that I didn't know what was earlier is a bear and the deer. My owl, that is just absolutely adorable. And the fox. So it's really interesting. I like that. And be a pretty good little scrap buster too, I would think. Then we have our couple sets of costumes. Vintage style witch. Another witch, and I love this. Does it have to be a costume? Because I'd wear that. Maybe not with the bats, but I would wear that outfit. Oh, that is really cute. And definitely has a vintage vibe to all of these. And it, go back to this real quick, vintage inspired looks. So, no wonder I was getting vintage vibes. We have ankle length lined, unlined, flowing and easy to sew princess capes. So we have a couple different, Anna, Anna or Elsa, that's Elsa's cape. Reminds me of Elsa's cape. Not a big fan of the feathers around that one. Interesting. And then we have six the musical pat patterns, and this is for the tops. That is going to be Catherine of Aragon. That one, I believe, is Anne of Cleves. This one should be. Catherine Parr, maybe? That one, I believe, is going to be Anne Berlin. So we've got a couple different options on it. So they are only releasing four of the patterns instead of all six. And these patterns go from 6 through 14 and 14 through 22. Let's take a look at the bottoms. So I don't know if some of the queens have the same patterns for their bottoms. Okay, so 
Some of them do have kind of a, like a similar bottom. So I guess that's how they're getting away with that. Well, these are actually not meant to be like knockoffs. I think they're actually approved by the musical. Then we have some more women's costumes. Medusa, Bride of Frankenstein, one of the vampire shows. So we've got a couple options there for $96.29. And then some men's costumes. I don't know what that one's from. It looks familiar. My oldest daughter could probably tell you what that one's from. Got kind of a Victorian vampire vibe going on here. Also here. So a couple options for different coats. And that's going to be it today. And let's take a look. I like the six patterns. Those are one of my favorites. I love these little pumpkin animals. And... I do like this pattern, and I also like this one. All right, guys, y'all have a wonderful week, and I am now all cut up on my pattern release videos. So be on the lookout for here in the future. Those will be more in time with when they're actually released, where these last three videos have it. And I apologize about one of them, or the last two, they have kind of messed up on export. So hopefully this one comes out right also. All right, guys, y'all have a great one. Bye.